This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Smile, the makers of PDF Pen, PDF Pen Pro, PDF Pen for iPhone, PDF Pen for iPad, PDF Pen Scan Plus for iPhone and iPad, Text Expander, Text Expander Touch, and Disk Label. Find out more about all their great products at smilesoftware.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. Mac Voices is at CES Unveiled in Las Vegas. I'm here with Patrick to talk about Zep. Now, folks, I'm a golfer, you know that, so I'm particularly interested in the golf part of this, but it applies, Patrick, to baseball as well as tennis? Yeah, we got uh, both baseball and tennis, exactly. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about the golf app, but maybe Zep can, or excuse me, maybe Patrick can throw in a few of the, uh, the other sport aspects of Zep. Sure. So, tell me about Zep. So, essentially what we've done is created a multi-sport sensor uh, that does some pretty cool stuff. It essentially sends 3D information about your golf, baseball, or tennis swing to your handheld device, either uh, iPhone or Android. And essentially what it's doing is, is the reason why it's so powerful is it's breaking down video and giving you key, analytic, uh, uh, key analytics about your swing, and it's doing it in a second. So we're changing the way that people are, are training and the way coaches are even coaching because you're now getting information that uh, one you never had, and two instantly. So it's just huge. It's a game changer. You know, we just had a conversation about this before we started the interview, and I'm really intrigued because you're measuring so many different things here, like you say in real time. So I take a swing on the practice field, and I immediately kind of know what happened and what I was doing, and maybe what I should have been doing. Yeah, I mean, an example of that is we measure club plane and. Of the over 25 million swings, almost 90% of golfers are coming over the top. And if you're a golfer, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It, but it's almost an epidemic where the club's coming over the top and it's getting too steep, which is what creates all those bad miss hits, the slices or the, the real bad pull hooks. So the difference is we're able to show you, hey, this is wrong. And then you can go in and actually compare yourself to tour professionals, both in video and in the 3D information, and then you can train to essentially try to perfect it and change your numbers. And we give you kind of a, a cool um, dashboard that you're viewing here where we give you an overall score and then we give you um, key specific um, data on your club speed, club plane, hand plane, tempo, backswing. You can even put it in your pocket and it'll measure your hip rotation. Now I want to make sure we show the folks what the sensor looks like, uh, yeah. because that's one of the best things here. This just clips on the back of my golf glove? Yeah, it's tiny. Essentially they have mounts and it fits right onto your glove, end of a baseball bat, tennis racket. It's eight grams, so you know you can't even feel it when you're swinging, so it's really nice. Um, and, and you know, I mean at the end of the day, you don't want to interfere with an athlete or their performance, and it and you, you shouldn't. So um, the battery life on on the device is like five to eight hours, you know, depending on whether you're using or it's standing still. And it's obviously rechargeable, so plug it in, give it a little more juice, and keep yeah, on going. Exactly. So again, we talked about this before. So this is primarily a training thing. This is not really designed to take out on the court course with you at this point, though you could. Well, and I do. Like, for example, let's say that we got you you know, baseline and we figured out that these are your numbers and this is how you're training on the range, then I might go get a couple drives, you know, a shot of you on, on, on a par three or even like you have a hole that's giving you trouble and you want to know what's changing because I talked about that there's, in golf and in many sports, there's a lot of ball anxiety, you know, you get performance anxiety on the course and, and, and people know what I'm talking about is, you know, you, you feel like God, I'm hitting it good on the range, or even with practice swings, and then they get on the ball, and it's like this complete freak out. Yeah, we all have a beautiful practice swing. <laughs> well, and that's kind of the cool thing is we can measure that. So, you know, we'll measure your practice swing. You'll see what's changing from practice swing to on the ball. And, you know, at the end of the day, I've spent some time out on tour as well the last two years measuring some of the great players. They just want more information. They want to know what they're doing and what's changing, and we measure that. 
and you're also working with some pros because you have some pro swings in here so I can compare myself to them, which yeah. is a very nice feature. Yeah, in, 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 the, uh, in the golf app, for example, we've got Keegan Bradley, Brendan Steele, we've got a long drive champion, Ryan Winter. And in the baseball app, we've got the top 10 baseball players. Um, Giancarlo Stanton, uh, Mike Trout, Hunter Pence, Big Poppy. So you can just kind of, kind of look at what are these guys doing versus what am I doing? So, I mean, you've got there are a lot of passionate people in sports that, you know what I'm saying, though, that yeah. really want to figure out what the hell's going on. And, and um, so this does that. And, and I like this. You know, there's a saying in golf paralysis by analysis. And, and it's so dangerous to try to analyze yourself. But I love this because this, this will capture what I'm doing, let me compare over time, you know, and, and improve myself. And one of the issues with paralysis by analysis, which is a great point, is that most of it's gobbledygook. I mean, you're filling yourself with, with BS. It's None of it's true, or you don't know if it's true. With this, you know, some people might say, well, it's overanalyzing. Well, no, it's not. It's actually doing the exact opposite. It's breaking it down into simple, um, digestible matrix, and it's giving you just basic information of what you're doing. One other feature I want to make sure you talked about, not only are we doing the analytics here when you when I use this, but we can also record my swing in video, yeah. still get the analytics, and then even compare it to a pro on tour. In video, yeah, and the cool, one of the coolest features is all you gotta do is put this on, hit record, and it auto captures your swing. So you're getting 2D video, 3D information, and then you can do a full compare, whether you want to look at video or 3D. That, that What's happening is, and people are finding this out pretty quick, is they'll do like one or two videos to just as a reference point to see some stuff, maybe some movement, and then they'll train in just 3D. Because video, you know, you're just not getting feedback fast enough, so. But I, I still like it because when I swing, I think I know what I did. And that's the other thing about so many of these sports. You think you know what you're doing, you think you know what you're feeling, and it really has nothing to do with reality. Yeah, that's 100% true. And that part of the, the cool thing too, the video does prove that what we're measuring is right. So people can kind of trust some of the data. But So you make a swing and, and within a second, this is 3D information, uh, um, 3D info basically on your swing where you're looking at your club plane here, 360 degrees, you get a bird's eye view. Uh, one of the cool features that we have is we measure hand plane, nobody has this. This is like one of the most compelling because the club's gonna go where your hands go and a lot of people have no idea what's going on with their hands. And then we give you that helpful dashboard where we give you a score based on these five matrix. You can also go into what we call focus screens and let's say you just wanted to work on tempo. You can, in the focus screen, just you hit 100 balls just working on trying to refine your tempo. And then if it's color-coded um, and you see like a yellow is needs work, red is worse, um, then we will feed you tips either from me, say, um, or, um, or Rick Smith, for example. And it's just like a 60-second, you know, kind of kernel of how can, um, you know, how can I improve? If you would, show us the side-by-side -side, uh, with, with your swing with uh, one of the pros. Okay, let's see if I can pull that up. I'll pull up some from today. And you can actually see the difference between his tempo, your tempo, club speed, plane. It's, it's intriguing because sports has become more and more about analysis, um, and that's great. But like we said before, it can be a little bit, a little bit difficult to know and figure out what information you're getting. Yeah, I mean, the one thing we we encourage is that. We're not trying to replace a coach. In fact, we're trying to do quite the opposite in that we're trying to help coaches, you know, give them more information. So, I mean, I would, 
definitely recommend that you still go see a coach to help you work out, you know, we talk about your goals. It's like, well, what should my goals be? And so you can kind of start to dig in. Everybody swings different. It's like the personality. But more, moreover, it's, you really just want to get people swinging on the right track, specifically plain, and then you want to help them repeat the numbers. It's a very cool product. Um, what kind of pricing are we talking about? So it's 150 bucks, 149.95. It's in um, Best Buy, Apple. Just go to the website's the easiest way, zep.com, Z-E-P-P.com, and um, you can buy it online or, yeah. Patrick, thank you so much for the time. Very cool Pleasure. product. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for having us. And of course, oh, one more thing. I want to make sure this, everything we just said applies to ba baseball and tennis as well, so. 100%, yeah, and that's, right. yeah. Just to be sure, just so they don't get upset. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. Folks, more from CES Unveiled in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news, from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.